I don't always think things through, and thank goodness I don't. Because if I did, I wouldn't have made a lot of the decisions I've made in my life. Then that's when I realized, oh my God, this is really difficult. <laughs> there is kind of funny sometimes, though, when somebody will show up and like, oh, where's, you know, looking for the brewer, and like, it's okay, I'm the brewer. How many cakes can you make a day? 20. How much are you going to charge? 20 bucks. You know, I, I don't know, and they're like, great, that's enough money for this. I'm like, cool. When I first started out, they were a little dubious. Really, nothing was automated. So it was, you know, a 55 pound sack of malt across your back, and you walk up the stairs with it, and you dump it in, and you paddle it in. And it was very hands on, and I think that. There was some, mm, can she do it at first? But not every guy could do it, so. I think there's a big difference between the 60s and 70s, and now there is. I remember my partner uh, had to take over, for instance, the buying, especially from fish. You know, he could really get a much better price than I could get. I'm sure it was because I was a woman. I didn't have the expectations or the confidence that I find a lot of men in my position have. Like, I definitely was more timid and cautious and grew things organically. That being said, I know what I don't know. And I think that among the men that I have met in the same sort of position that I'm in, I have a much smaller ego. I'm not afraid to ask for help and I'm not afraid to like just reach out and say, this is exactly what I want, this is exactly what I need, who can help me? And I think that's where women excel. As advice, I would just say, be, be prepared. I don't want to give anything trite like, oh, believe in what you do or, or follow your passion. That's all well and good, but you need, you need to really, really think about the sacrifices you're going to make. I think they have to be uh, individualistic, uh, they have to be creative, and to have to be a powerful little bossy. You have to be a little bossy, uh, but in a very fair way. Yeah, I don't know. There's always that thing they say that a woman has to work twice as hard to get half the attention. And I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's true or not. You know, I think hard work always rises to the top. I think in five years from now, the, there won't be any more novelty, really, I think, to women being in the beer scene because it's really a turning tide. Some of the perceptions are definitely changing as well. Cupcakes, for instance, where maybe pastry and baking was assumed to be male-based. You know, women are starting to push into this arm of the industry and then suddenly it gets brushed aside as well. It's got to be easier than really running a real kitchen. Even cupcakes need business plans too. People sometimes ask about a work-life balance. I've slowly come to realize that there is none. Not because I don't want one or I don't strive for one, but I am Supergirl. In every sense of the word, I'm always on. My mind is always running, not in a bad way, but just I'm always thinking about the business. I am always working, but is it work? I love what I do. And, and I don't think a lot of people get to have that feeling of satisfaction. This is mine, this is me, this is my identity.